so welcome to ko tutorials so here i am coming up with a new tutorial on 3d modeling a modular kitchen over here so let's get started so let's go into file view image file i have a reference over here i have taken up a reference of this particular kitchen over here so let's start modeling it so very first of all if you want to go with the size over here uh, I can just check out the size of this particular reference over here. You can just right click on it. And let's click on properties 115 by 1154. So I can just go into this, go into render setup, and we can just set up the size over here. 1158 by 1154 in this way. So let's take a plane over here. And as you can see, let's go to the top view and go into this AC extended and let's take a wall over here which is going to be covered in this way i can slightly increase the height of the wall in this way so there are multiple things which will be uh, taking care of it over here and let's convert to editable poly i'll just select the plane and convert to editable poly so very first of all what i'll be doing over here is like let's go into this select this and i can slightly shuffle it a bit far if needed over here and select this and I can just slightly push it in this way now let's take a box over here so I'll just take a box over here for the table section over here so convert to editable poly I'll slightly if you want you can slightly shuffle it so convert to poly slightly just push it in this way shuffle it up select the polygons and I can slightly give a bit of insert to it and let's slightly extrude it and isolate it so now we can give in this way yeah looks better select this stuff let's go into the edges let's select this edge and slightly shuffle this up select the polygons and click on extrude by local normal select the edges let's give some segments over here push it in this way select the vertices in this way again select this edges 
again I will take, I will push it in this way. So, again select this. Let us put one more connect over here, if not required, I can just shuffle it in this way. Now, this looks better, let us select this part, let us just save this, let us go into this and I will and let us give uh, two connects over here. So, before I add some connect, what I want is, I want to add some loops over here. So, I will add one connect Let us just scale this, drag it over here at the corner. Okay, we have added this over here. Similarly, we need to add one connect over here and one connect over here. All right. So, again, I will select this edges. Let us give two connect over here, select this polygons and let us slightly give a bit of inset and if you need it, we can extrude it very less a bit out and let us click OK. So, again I will select this, again I will give a bit of uh, insert over here and again I will slightly give extrude. So, this is going to be the whole element over here. Thus, directly we are going to extrude it a bit out and let us click OK. So, we will make the handle not a problem. So, how you can model such handles? Let us go into this. Let us take a line. And let us go into this select the vertices and let us give a bit of fillet to it. So, let us make it as rectangular and slightly just reduce this. You can reduce this part in this way. So, once it is done, let us convert to poly, let us select this edges, we can add 2 to 3 segments, select this, add 3 segments. and let us add two segments in this way. So, now if I go into this, uh, I can make some changes like first I will just make this a bit straighter that is important. So, let us make it straight first. So, I will just make this a bit straight. 
so once it is done i can slightly just push this out push this out in this way i can just select this push this out in this way and you can push this out so as you can see now we get a change over here in this way so again i'll go over here and let's take a cylinder activate the auto grid and i'll reduce its sides over here i can just increase the sides reduce the height segments convert to poly select the polygons and let's give a bit of inset and let's extrude it a bit so we can just push it inside so this is going to be a uh, creation of uh, your handle over here also uh, we can just select the edges and let's add some loops select the vertices we can uh, make it round if required if needed so i can just select this the whole handle and select this and let's group it so now you can just place this handle wherever it is required so over here i can go into this let's make it as 90 degree we can just resize it so i'll just press shift and make a copy of it so as many copies you need we can take that right click and end isolate this so we can just save the file once so guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here so please like and subscribe my youtube channel if you are not subscribed yet so we'll continue the rest of the part in the coming tutorial so thanks for watching this tutorial